All right, guys, I got a 2002 Subaru uh, back, and the AC compressor was not working. All right, this AC compressor here was not engaging. This car had no AC. And what I did was I popped off this relay right here. And what I did was, uh, if you take this cover off right here, this is the cover, guys. All right, this cover is like that. You can pop this cover off just like so. All right, once you flip it in that angle, you will get this little diagram inside. So this, this relay right here, one, two relay, there's two fuses here, 20 amp and a 20 amp. That's this 20 amp and a 20 amp, these two yellow fuses. Right next to it, you have a main fan relay, this one right here. And right next to that, you have an AC fan, I'm sorry, AC relay. So right next to this relay right here is the AC relay. Swap this AC relay guy. I had a problem before with the similar car and um, the AC was not working and the problem was the AC relay right there. So this relay, all you do is you take it and you yank it right off, right? And it's a five pin, I'm sorry, four pin relay right there, all right? And uh, what you can do is uh, you can take this relay right here and swap it to there just to test it. This is a relay for a, a sub fan, right? And um, make sure you put it back if your AC does work. But put in a new relay, guys. The part number on this is uh, RC5008, all right? You can call your local parts guy. He should have this. I paid uh, 22 bucks for this one right here, all right? And you just push that in. And after this, if this relay is the problem, your AC compressor should kick in, all right? If your AC does not kick in, you could have other problems such as a fuse. You could look into a fuse or look into the Freon in the system. You got the port here and you got the port over there. So it could be that you don't have Freon in the system. It could be a bad compressor or it could be your relay here, all right? But I do want to mention uh, one thing. You can also unplug this connector right here. See if there's a power here. You could use a test light and see if there's a power here. You could ground the test light and it's a one pin connector. If this thing has power, then you have a bad AC compressor, right? But if you don't have power, you have electrical trouble. It could be low Freon because there will be no, the thing will not command the compressor to come on because there's no Freon in the system. It works off of pressure. But anyway, guys, I hope this video helps you and just try that it's worth a shot before you go crazy and change things all right so that's it bye bye and we will see you on the next one guys and if you're having ac troubles just send me a message and send me um year making model and tell me what's going on we can diagnose the car online and i'll give you a step-by-step -step procedure what to check first all right but you can follow the same procedure that I told you in this video for all the cars. Pretty much, make sure you have Freon in the system. There has to be a pressure here. Put on the AC, start up the car. And uh, see if there's power here, AC compressor. Some cars, AC compressor is down below, right? And uh, you can simply jump to the relay, swap the relays. Sometimes you could tap the relays and the AC will kick in because those relay does not engage. Usually the contact will go bad. But anyways, send me a message if you need help, alright? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So, we'll see you in the next one.